<laughs> I was hoping he would type. Oh. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Lux mid versus a Corky with Hail of Blades and Ignite, which is pretty damn aggressive. I don't know if he actually is going to do W start. I don't trust you, brother. I ain't going to mess around. I will gladly sacrifice a minion if it means that I don't get destroyed. What did you start? Probably E if he didn't W already. I feel like if he had W, he definitely would have went in by now. I should have landed one of my abilities, though. Which sucks. My second E was a, a decent one that should have landed. We just need to, uh, like, go for him when he goes for auto attacks on minions. Like I can maybe do here. No, he sidesteps. He's a legend. Not a bad trade, though, for us still. We both have uh, combat summoners, so that's kind of a big deal. That should have landed, dude. That's crazy that missed. I have barrier. I flash. Otherwise, I die. You realize that you'd probably just die if you go in. Well, whatever. He tried, I guess. It was close. You can tell that this person definitely plays more with uh, their hands than their brain. And they're pretty damn good with their hands, have to admit. Pretty damn good. If they had both, then I probably would have died. Uh, my wave state, unfortunately, wasn't that good. Then... So, like, this kill... I mean, it was nice, right? It would have really sucked if I died because the wave was crashing and stuff. But it's not really that big of an advantage. It's going to be mostly even. I have definitely gold advantage, though. I mean, he went tier first, so that's like no stats gain for him whatsoever. It's actually a, kind of an interesting build pass to go for that when uh, you have a hyper-aggressive early game rune page. So I feel like you're neglecting the potential to... Uh, To snowball because you went tier. Really good trade for us. Landed Q and E. My first E hit from far away. Damn, one HP. That sucks. He knows that I have my jungler nearby, so. Alright, well. You need help. Are you gonna get it? You're in quite a uh, dilemma, aren't you? That was close. If that lands, he just probably would die. Because I can go for one auto. Put my E on all the minions immediately, shoving again. He completely reset. My CS lead is kind of completely back. Because uh, I was down quite a bit, so we're only down two farm now. And that's because the wave obviously was super bad. But it is what it is. And now... We're back to probably having a pretty decent lead on this guy, and hopefully we can uh, snowball somehow. They have a pretty annoying team comp. They have a Scion top lane. Lux absolutely blows against people with high HP, and he has one of the highest HP in the game because he just gets free HP from killing minions, so it's not that fun for me. I don't know if I pinged Corky Flash earlier, so I'm just going to ping it now, just in case. 
No! I really miss that? Seriously? What? What is this guy doing, actually? Is this not, like, really grief? I don't understand. Kill them. Use, use your ultimate? I feel like if Aurora used her ultimate and saved her W, it could have been better. I feel like it only didn't work because, or wasn't as good, like she could have lived because she used W and then ultimate when it looked like she was just kind of scared of engaging, but I knew that we would win is because Corky without ultimate suck. There's no possible way that they should be able to win when they have a uh, ultiless Corky when we have a ulti Lux and also they don't have some still. So that makes it even easier for me to just combo them. Can't believe that landed. I miss cannon again though. If I land one more combo, this guy immediately dies. Ooh. Do I die? I guess we'll find out. Nope. I can't even look for an ultimate to help because uh, Wukong will kill me. I should have uh, known that he's going to W forward there. It's my fault. <laughs> Man, but I kind of am starting to get used to this guy's decision making for his movement. So what I could have done differently is uh, when I try to dive him with my ult, uh, if I just save my E, I could have won. Because how I would win is by... I just don't use it, and he would probably Valk forward just because he's playing aggressive, and then my E can't miss because he's on top of me. The only reason why I, I missed everything is because I used it, and I shouldn't have. But I'm pretty happy about that. We're, we're still completely dominating him. That being said, I feel like the rest of the team is not in the best position right now, are they? Also, Corky scales pretty damn well, and I feel like this build that he's going is a scaling build, I would imagine. He ha there has to be a scaling build, otherwise why would he ever build it? So he probably is still going to be pretty useful when he reaches his item spikes. I'm on the way. This seems like something I can still help out with. Maybe? Even if you juke that, you're still pretty screwed. I don't think you can get out. But you did kill my teammate, though. Right? No, okay, never mind. It's just that Yumi disappeared, and I was like, oh, my teammate died, but I'm sure she just attached to someone. <laughs> All right, zero four, dude. Still playing like a psycho. Still don't one shot the wave. That's so frustrating. It's so frustrating when you don't one shot the wave. Big damage. If I get ganked by Wukong, I die. I don't think this guy's trying anymore. I think he's given up. I have mentally broken him, or my team has mentally broken him. I don't know. Could be upset at his team. Could be blaming them. Who knows? Normally, people who are extremely mechanical and going hyper aggro all the time tend to be toxic, from what I've noticed. So I would not put it past me that I'm right. I don't know. Step in it. I mean, he's literally just standing there. There's no way that he's actually trying. 
I'm just gonna push and uh, buy my item because I'm so rich now. <laughs> he just does not care. No, my Baldian's all gonna die. No. Ludin's best item because it just gives you more AP than everything else. We want to abuse the fact that Lux has a 120% AP ratio on our ultimate, so it just deals an insane amount of damage. And Malignance, even though it makes it you have a lower CD on your ultimate, you already have a low CD, so who cares? It doesn't matter. Might go like Shadow Flame, though. I do enjoy going like high pen builds, although it might be pretty bad against people like uh, Scion and stuff. He just doesn't care. He's actually just giving up. For sure. That guy did not Valk. He just actually stepped on it. I can't believe that this guy is actually just mentally broken. Literally about to all chat. Don't worry. I'll report him for you guys. Because he's legitimately just griefing and not trying anymore. So we might as well just uh, pop a report. Because you're making it so your teammates can't even play at this point. Nautilus is bought. I'm like trying to pay attention to the map to see where uh if I'm ever gonna get ganked. <laughs> hey, you dodged it! I didn't use barrier, which is risky as heck, but uh remember how I said earlier, like, oh, when I like use my E? <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping he would type. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I love agreeing with them. If they call me bad, I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm just the worst, and you keep on dying to me. Oh, because I'm only lucky. It's because I'm only lucky that you're dying. That's what he's trying to say. It doesn't really make much sense, really, kind of, so there's really no response for me. We can just continue killing him, I guess. Nothing better to do. <laughs> I, I almost want to say, oh, you're walking... You hit a 50 50 think you're faker? Oh man, he's so mad. Tell me to keep myself safe. See, see what I mean about people who like are mechanically good, are toxic? I swear, it's crazy. I don't know if that was a 50-50 skill shot. You kind of ran into it, didn't you? Oh, no! I'm alive. I'm just gonna agree. You know, he called me lucky. I'm gonna call myself lucky. <laughs> oh. I wonder if he's gonna add me. <laughs> Some people get so pissed off, and like, even though he's like 0 9 and he griefed his team, and honestly, I was literally praising him. I was literally saying how good he was. I know he can't hear me or anything, but. 
he did really good with dodging my abilities during the early game. Clearly, he knew what he was doing for a while. I think Aurora did more damage than me, probably because she was just hitting Scion the entire laning phase. Corky thinks he is Faker. I mean, he kind of does think he's Faker. I mean, he was playing pretty good. Positivity is his name, by the way, which is funny. Oh, you left, yeah. Anyways, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was pretty enjoyable for me. Uh, hopefully next game is a little bit longer, but that was a pretty <laughs> funny one. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to game two of the Lux playing versus a Huey, which I think is pretty damn challenging. Um, and we'll see. His cooldowns are pretty short, so he can actually kind of just shove me under turret, I think, forever. And also, he will never run out of mana, and I will, because his Q... His QE is too busted, of course, so... Just hit him with that, though. Didn't get it by a Q. I'm surprised he didn't use it. There he goes. I was gonna anticipate it, because obviously when I'm going for minions, he's gonna be trying to poke me and stuff. I've landed every single E so far, so we're in a incredible position right now, obviously. I mean, I'm just uh, really doing well with my skill shots, huh? I should have never said anything. I immediately miss as soon as I say something, huh? Terrible Q. Probably shouldn't even try it. What's the point? I should probably just go for only E trades. I think that I save some of my mana here and just don't even bother trying to harass him until I reach level 3 because I'll just go oom too fast and at least level 3 my uh, E damage is much higher. No point to my W. Almost missed cannon, but I didn't. He just used like all of his abilities, so I'm just stepping up to see if he would like auto trade me because I would definitely win. Landed another one. I think that was his first Q onto me all game. I have barrier advantage too. My CS per minute is way better than his. He's been missing a lot. So we're in a pretty damn good position right now to maybe... I don't know, he's so tanky still. How are you still so strong? Definitely going to hit me with everything there. I use my one potion. I was just about to shield you, too. I guess you didn't need it. It's annoying, dude. I could almost kill the Hecarim all on my own, but... Hopefully Kha'Zix going to abuse the fact that I got him so chunked, maybe? Uh, he'll have, of course, mana, so, like, we're in a really terrible position here. But I do have my teammate rotating, so... Oh, he's seen, though. Yeah, I knew you would land that, dude. I, I trusted. My wave state's really bad, and I might have just ruined it even further. He's going to TP back mid. So I'm just going to try to grab this one cannon and just hope that that is enough. Boom. And then hold shove, but my CS is way better than his, so it's whatever. You can totally take TP versus uh, champions like Koi if you wanted to. I was seeing if he was going to use his uh, lightning bolt on me to kill me there, but he didn't. Top lane is dominating. Jungle is dominating. Nice, guys. I mean, I didn't get an assist for what I did, but it's all right. I still managed to probably influence jungle in some way by uh, hitting Hecarim with all those abilities. Grab this. I think my auto attack speed is not fast enough to actually secure these without using an ability, sadly. Also, he could have just based. Maybe. No, he didn't. It's 
this guy is in a quite awkward situation. Let's kill him with autos. I had my E coming back up, so even if I miss my Q, it's not really that big of a deal. But we landed Snare right when Karma was ganking. I was looking at the minimap during that time. I was like, alright, well, if I land my abilities, he's probably screwed because no flash. I mean, I probably would have died too, right, if I got ganked by uh, Karma behind and then got double snared. Bro, he's on this. This is this is legal. They can do this. It's not right. Like there's no way. Yeah, I mean this is fine. We literally just denied them from taking a uh, the dragon and got a free kill. What? No, but you guys are all dead bot, huh? Kha'Zix, stop doing the scuttle crab. God damn it, dude. The scuttle crab can freaking wait. Why? Why won't you rotate to help out the team first? I flash and then Lulu dies to turret? No, she doesn't. Nice. Okay, it all worked out in the end, dude. Uh, sorry, but I had to take your wave because it was crashing, so... I mean, my mid wave... It's not like you gotta take a mid. My wave is really screwed up as well, so... Oh, well. Hopefully this Darius doesn't tilt. Because he's seeming upset. That he died to him. Now he died again. My ultimate would never kill. Also, I would never get in range fast enough to be able to get that guy. We're really strong, though. My bot lane is not strong. The Jinx has 40 farm and also no kills, no assists, sadly. I can shield you if you need help. Is he still looking? Oh, he knew. Bali needs help somehow. I wonder if I even can help them. My champion is not really the best at setting up ganks versus enchanters. They actually are quite good at just running away and surviving. But I can try, I guess. Also, I don't know what's awarded either. Feels like this is awarded. I don't know. That was like very strange that he was walking towards me and then walked away when I threw Q. So I feel like I'm probably just on vision and I just don't have opportunities to go down there. I'll go back down anyways, though, because they might try to, like, di Okay, well... Dive, I was gonna say. Man... Is warded here? Well, guess it's me and you, Kha'Zix, against the world. Me and you. No way he lives. That is unreal. How unlucky that is. Seriously. There's probably no way that I can probably get up there and find an angle to lay my ultimate that wouldn't put me over vision, right?
Yeah, he's already healed up to the point that my ultimate would never kill. He's like 500 something HP. Thank God, if we didn't rotate immediately, I could have died. I'm not going to bother with top lane. There's no freaking way I can do anything right now with uh, Hecarim being there. And There's a bot fight going on. Can Kha'Zix win it? I mean, he's so fed. Nice. Huge. That didn't land? I'm done trying to go side lanes. I guess we just play for killing my lane. Oh? Is that even like a useful ult? Doesn't feel like it. Well, I don't know why way ultied me there, but now he just doesn't have, like, any kill threat in the lane, so... Whatever, I guess. I'm surprised he didn't die. Because the thing is that I had Ludens, and he was isolated, and Ludens does bonus damage to people that are isolated, and I had Comet Scorch. I He might have been down to, like, legitimately almost 1 HP. <laughs> because that was, uh... Him already being super low, and he probably got hit by everything. wonder how low he was. Oh my god. Don't stop me. Have Dark Seal by this. Alright, cool. Quite a good position to be in. Oh my god, they're so low bot lane. Definitely gonna just try to E mid and then maybe look for a ultimate bot and just see if it lands. Unless my team already kills, of course. Which they did. Mid is missing. No idea where he is. Face check. We see that he's at the top with everybody else, so that guy's probably just gone. The best thing we can do is shove in mid and try to get like a plate or so. Still have a really good CS lead. I don't think I can get this other plate, huh? It's actually so tanky. Uh, maybe, actually. Maybe I can get it. No, never mind. It's gonna say like two more autos, but then uh, the plates fell. So no, we're gonna lose bot turret before I can get mid. Man, that timing. No. Well. Back to just pressuring, I guess. I think that if I land Q, he dies. Unless he maybe shields himself immediately, but we'll see if he's uh, confident enough to do that. We will see. I think E into R at this point would kill too, if I landed it. The hard part is, of course, landing it. Why did you stop going? Wait! Bro! <laughs> I feel like we could have totally chased them out, because they were so far away from their turret. Well, oh well, I guess. There we go. Yep. That's what I was looking for. Well, my jungler is really strong. Was Did my jungler get strong because of literally the one thing that I did mid, which was Q the Hecarim and then get him super low and then he went to Scuttle Crab and immediately died? Like, I wonder how different the game would have been if I just didn't do that. 
quite curious. Too? Man. Whatever. I have a good buy, right? Oh, it's okay. Dang. Yeah, never mind. I'm just not going to base. I need just a little bit more money to buy my next item. So I will just wait. I swear that these guys are so disrespectful. Like, one single Q just means we killed you. Oh, you juked into it, too. They both juked into it. I don't really know why, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, I thought that maybe he was rotating to mid, but he didn't. Ten seconds. He flashed the Q. He probably thought that I had ultimate, so... He was worried about dying. One E should kill if I land it. It's just very difficult to land though. Because he's playing his distance. I'm kind of yoinking all your farm, huh? That guy just dies. Lulu gets slowed. And we are super rich, and sieging is OP. Like, my Balin's not even fed, by the way. My Balin's kind of like some of the weakest members of the team. Awkward. I thought that I'd also hit Hecarim with my snare, but that was actually Karma snare. Still works out very well for us, though, since uh, Kha'Zix is here and he's so strong. And they FF'd. So another stomp. Another stomp. So hopefully you guys still enjoyed it and learned something about what I'm trying to do to make it so I can really abuse my lane in a way that uh, I just make it very difficult for them to play the game. And that helps out a lot with uh, games like that. So I feel like I, I definitely played the laning phase better than Hoi did, and I swear that actually influenced how fed my jungler got. I really do. I think it was extremely influential. So, anyways, thanks for watching again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Maybe I can do another game. Peace. Bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome yeah, to game three. I mean, he's definitely gonna flash away now. That's all I can really do. Playing versus Yasuo, pretty annoying matchup because, of course, uh, he is able to... I accidentally had a stream on. Whoops, I'll mute that. Uh, he is able to, of course, win a ball, like, a lot of my abilities. And uh, the best tip that I have is just, like, never use your Q unless you think that he's going to use win ball either late or he already has used win ball. Like, if he's dashing towards you, normally he can't get win ball fast enough out. Because he's in the middle of his E animation or something like that, that is fine if he's dashing forward. Otherwise, you just try to poke with your E and sometimes you just put E on the ground and just hold it there. And that also kind of works out a bit. So that's what I would recommend for uh, facing him. We'll see what we can do. He has Q, of course, so he'll just be a Q farming from far away. I could have probably landed that, honestly. I should be uh, up further. It's my fault that I missed. Since he's not... He doesn't have his E. There's really no reason to be afraid of him. So he will have it after that minion though. And then he will dash forward. But I did a bad E. So I should have had a pretty successful trade there. But I messed it up. 
We know our mistakes, though. His champion is quite annoying to face. Even if we chunk him and stuff, he has heavy, I'm gonna not, like, take damage pages, too. So, he just uses Wind Wall immediately. Literally uncounterable fight. That didn't hit the cannon, really? That's pretty bad. He probably doesn't have Wind Wall yet, so we can just go on him like that. Auto attack him on the way out. He wins while super late for some reason. There's no reason to use it there, but all right. The wave is in a really good spot for me, so pretty happy about that. Now, he might use his E as soon as I go in, so I'm just not going to use it. Like, if I try to use it on him there, it actually would have missed, so I intentionally used it in a different way. Let him come towards me, right? It's not the worst position to be in. Got his shield again. We don't have Scorch. We have Gathering this game because it feels like it's going to be a long game, in my opinion, if I want to win. Really? That is... Kind of ridiculous. Damn, dude. One HP. But I probably can't win this. Too talented at the Yasuo, even though this matchup is probably unwinnable for Lux. So, if you guys can kill him, good on you. Good luck. It looks like he probably should just die here. <laughs> See you later, brother. You probably should have committed for me. You should have used your... Oh, yeah, you don't have flash. No wonder you didn't commit. If you if only you had your flash from level 1, maybe you could have done something, but... Holy shit, I hate Swain, said my top. Don't worry, dude. Our bot lane and jungle are super fed. We don't need to do anything this game. We can just rely on them. <laughs> not to mention, I'm not supposed to be probably winning lane regardless. Versus a decent Yasuo, and this guy definitely is uh, better than decent, so... I have beaten Yasuos as Lux, but normally they're really bad. <laughs> you have to mess up so many things. So how do you win the game if you get into a matchup that you're not supposed to win? You just wait for laning phase to end because laning phase is something you can at least farm out. It's not very fun, obviously, but if you want to win games, sometimes you just have to be uh, waiting for the moments that your champion is strong with your team. And I can assist in way different ways than Yasuo can, so... Went around the wind wall and still hit him with the Q, so at least snare him so I didn't take that much damage. Not a bad position to be in. I'm guessing that they're just doing Rift, or not Rift, but the Grubs. It's not really a way for us to go over there and stop it. He has one potion, just a regular potion. Another thing that we can do is always just, like, leave this lane whenever we want. Because we can always use uh, our ult to just reset. It would be pretty difficult for him to uh, just freeze. I just want the minions there. I'm not going to really go for him. He's just going to be a pest. 
But that's what Yasuo does. We can go for a poke. Alright, I mean, you, you got me, I guess. I still have barrier, so are you gonna flash try to hit me? Literally 1 HP? Had a feeling you would do that. I'm in your head. Because most Yasuos, if you don't know when you're 1 HP, like legitimately 1, uh, if they do E EQ, it's it's like an instant undodgeable kind of, so you would just die. Literally. There is there is basically no counterplay. If you can't tank it, but I can, because if I use barrier, and I used it way beforehand, if he really wanted to, I guess he you have to like I don't know, it's really awkward. So he already had a plan in mind. He knew what he wanted to do, and I knew what he wanted to do too. But as soon as I pop barrier, it's actually really hard to stop yourself from doing the thing that you're now executing because you already thought about it. It's like really difficult. So he dies because of it. So awkward. Dude, really? She has barrier? No! I'm on the way, but... I don't know if I can really, uh... Do much besides just, like, help with, uh, wave clearing and that's it. I don't think that I can kill Jinx. Ah! Yeah, Wind Wall. <laughs> like... I have a Poppy, though! We have a poppy now. Probably can't catch anybody, right? Still pretty decent that nobody died. Could have been really bad. Oh, what? You really got rid of my ability? It wasn't already on the ground? When your E's on the ground, you can't wind wall it, so... I thought that I had it. Oh, well, I guess. I just want the minions. This guy's probably, uh, unfortunately, screwed. You guys went way too deep. Mm. You walked into my ability for some reason and took a hit because of it? Lost chapter proc for a little bit more. You're just screwed. He doesn't have a way out. You can only wind wall one thing. That was a really good Graves gank angle right when he was going for vision control. That was sick. And now I can also do this. Although this is a cannon wave, so unfortunately I'm going to have to stick around and do even more, which I don't really want to do, but it's okay. Make sure I don't miss it. Thankfully I had just enough mana to do that, and we can go for our first item, which is of course going to be the Ludens as always, because Malignance is not something I ever enjoy going on Lux, since we don't need the ultimate CDR. And... Poppy is kind of not going in the best position, but she's fine because she's Poppy. Massive damage onto that guy, nice. I mean, my damage should be pretty high now if I ever hit this guy with a, a good E hit. I'll just face check this. They're not here.
used Wind Wall too early. Threw it behind him, but of course he dodges forwards because that's the best way to play a melee character. Hit him, but he had a shield, so it didn't really do anything. Auto? Nice. Still hit you with that? Still have barrier. One more Q should kill. I ah, actually, he's healing a lot. Maybe not. Oh, but I did hit him, though. Dang. I needed to land that. Oh, well. He's so low. We're so close to finishing him. Welp, man. I won't be able to get him. I have to uh, land a ability combo. I can't just like kill with one hit. Everybody's around mid for some reason. I guess they're just looking for me. Got that guy for you. No, I can't. Oh, nice. Graves just executed him. Well played. Jungle is popping off. Top lane's really losing hard, though. I think I can full take this too. I managed to get everything. Power has got, he used his TP. He also got a little bit chunked, got the whole entire wave. Perfect reset. Now the only thing we need to do is just fight the really fed Swain uh, with our fed people and not die and not throw the game. That's about it. Like our our Kled is uh, really far behind to the point that I don't know when he's going to be useful. So that's a big deal. But everybody else is fed enough to make up for it, I'm sure. We'll just get a really good angle to uh, fight him. Can you survive? That really doesn't hit, seriously? That guy dies. Sucks that Poppy got it, but it's whatever. Man, that movement speed from Kled was insane. Maybe I could have actually flashed over the wall to try to kill the zero. F it's it's probably not worth it. Using my flash kill zero force, whatever. What's the point? I can go bot lane, I guess, to help you. I'm pretty strong too. If I land a good uh ultimate onto them it could be really influential oh my goodness they all left right they knew probably they had a good vision or something oh nope really but if i just ulti that guy we just win also the guy went onto my ability too Oh, I did not know you were going to combo him into the wall. Bro, burned his flash to kill somebody that's not even... No. We are actually okay. 
If you get knocked up, it's so bad. Graves, don't! No! Dude, why? That guy's worth... Man, what the heck, dude? Bro. You had to not even fight it. It's not even worth it. Because you're worth too much. At least I have return killed, I guess. But he was literally zero. He was zero five. <laughs> he was zero five, bro. Oh, Jinx could rock at me, huh? If I press barrier fast enough, I probably would live. I'm not gonna back inside that brush. Jinx was topside, so our camera should be more like this. Because uh, it would come from this angle. Massive purchase. I have a uh, extreme amount of flat pen already. And I think I'm strong enough that a full combo on most of your squishies would kill. Getting hit by a stray Janinado would be very bad for me. If Yasuo's nearby. What? Well, whatever, they just... I don't know. I, I don't even know why they went in. That was, like, so random that they attempted that. This Viego is so far behind. What's the point? That was a crazy hit. Double snare into a double E double ult. Poor Swain, dude. He literally is just not going to be able to win the game because his teammates are all losing. Also, I have second Gathering Storm proc. It's very nice. I don't want to just shove out mid. I don't think that I could one-shot her, right? I mean, we just literally did the combo on her and it didn't one-shot, so... Most likely, no. Uh... Okay. Well, our 1 in 6 Kled kind of just destroyed that guy, didn't he? I just threw random ability. You never know. It's in fog of war, and sometimes people hover around that area. Should we not just Baron? Like, we we can freely do Baron right now because their jungler is dead. If we just did it sooner, it would have been much more confident. But I think that we can still do it. It doesn't feel like the enemy team has that good of opportunities to even get in. We don't have Smite. I don't think it matters, right? Surely I'll just take it. It's like that. Did we lose mid or Kaisa can defend it? Nice. Being able to defend it is huge. One more dragon for soul. Just keep up the pressure. This time we can uh, siege their base and take their inhibs and stuff. My uh, snare didn't land. I'm gonna transform in the middle of this fight. That was a very tragic ultimate because it barely landed on anybody. But it all worked out in the end. Everybody's dead. So GG. Three stomps in a row, huh?
the F heft. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Lux commentaries on what I'm trying to do to uh, influence my lane. This was definitely much harder than a Corky lane, that's for sure. I think Corky is not that difficult to face as Lux. Uh, she does pretty good against things that can't remove her abilities because her dueling power isn't that bad because he has, she has a self-shield. Kind of underrated ability. So anyways, we'll look at the damage dealt and after that, uh, that's about it. Honor my whole team because they all did really good. And uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I did more damage than Graves, despite him having a massive KDA compared to mine. So yeah, anyways, see you guys later. Bye.